Hello friends, class 11th chemistry, unit 1, some basic concepts of chemistry and in this video we are going to discuss about atomic mass, molecular mass, formula mass, mole concept and molar mass. First come to the atomic mass. The atomic mass or the mass of an atom is actually very very small because atoms are extremely small. In the 19th century, scientists could determine the mass of one atom relative to another by experimental means. Hydrogen being the lightest atom was arbitrarily assigned a mass of one without any units and other elements were assigned a masses relative to it. But the present system of atomic masses is based on carbon 12 as the standard and has been agreed upon in 1961. Here carbon 12 is one of the isotopes of carbon. I think you are familiar with this term isotopes atoms of the same element have the same atomic number but different mass number okay and this is represented like this carbon 12 it means the atom of carbon whose mass number is 12 in this system carbon 12 is assigned a mass of exactly 12 atomic mass unit which is abbreviated as amu and masses of all other atoms are given relative to this standard. Now what is this AMU? One atomic mass unit or one AMU is defined as a mass exactly equal to one twelfth of the mass of one carbon 12 atom. Mathematically we can correlate one AMU with gram like this. Actually this is the mass of one atom of carbon 12 and if we take its one twelfth then we will get 1.66056 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram which is equal to 1 amu okay mass of an atom of hydrogen in gram is this 1.6736 into 10 to the power 24 if you want to represent this mass of an atom of hydrogen in amu then we can do like this this is the mass of an atom of hydrogen and this is divided by 1 amu in gram okay then if we solve it we will get this 1.008 amu this is the relative atomic mass of hydrogen atom relative why this is relative because this is related with the mass of an atom of carbon 12 okay and for general we use this 1 amu it present AMU has been replaced by U, which is known as unified mass. Okay. When we use atomic masses of elements in calculation, we actually use average atomic masses of elements. Average atomic masses. Okay. Why this average? Average atomic mass of the element is defined as the average mass of all the isotopes of the element as compared to 1 12th the mass of 1 carbon 12 atom here we are taking the average mass of all the isotopes with the help of an example we will explain it there are the three isotopes of carbon carbon 12 carbon 13 carbon 14 and their relative abundance in nature is this which is given in the percentage and this is the atomic mass of these isotopes in U. Clear? Then we can find out the average atomic mass of carbon like this. This is the relative abundance of carbon 12. We are multiplying these two. Plus, this is the relative abundance of carbon 13. And this is multiplied by atomic mass of carbon 13. Plus, this is the relative abundance of carbon 14. This is multiplied by the atomic mass of carbon 14 divided by 100 okay if you solve it we will get 12.011 u this is the average atomic mass of carbon okay student molecular mass molecular mass is the sum of atomic masses of the elements present in a molecule it is obtained by multiplying the atomic mass of each element by the number of its atoms and adding them together. For example, molecular mass of methane, CH4, this one, 
one report then it is one is the carbon atom it is multiplied by atomic mass of carbon plus four why this is four this four represent this number of hydrogen atoms and this is multiplied by atomic mass of hydrogen so we put the value this is one into 12.011 u plus four into 1.008 u and then it will come 16.043 u this is the molecular mass of methane the same way molecular mass of water this is two into atomic mass of hydrogen plus one into atomic mass of oxygen put the value and we solve it this will come 18.02 u formula mass ionic compounds do not exist as discrete molecules as covalent compounds okay let's try to understand covalent compounds like water carbon dioxide methane these are the covalent compounds and they exist as a discrete molecule but ionic compounds do not exist as a discrete molecule for example in the solid state sodium chloride is an ionic compound does not exist as a single entity okay in such compounds positive ion in case of sodium chloride positive ion is sodium ion and negative ion that is chloride ion positive ion and negative ions are arranged in a three dimensional structure and in the crystal of sodium chloride one na plus ion is surrounded by six cl minus ion and vice versa in simple way we can say ionic compounds do not exist as a discrete molecule that's why the word formula unit is used for those substances which constituent particles are ions and this formula unit represent the simplest ratio of cation and anion present in that ionic compound okay the formula unit mass or formula mass of a substance is sum of the atomic masses of all atoms in a formula unit of a compound for example sodium chloride its formula unit is nacl we can find out its formula unit mass that is one this is the number of atom of sodium multiplied by 23 atomic mass of sodium is 23 plus 1 into 35.5 this 35.5 is the atomic mass of chlorine if we add 58.5 u okay in the same way formula unit mass of cacl2 atomic mass of calcium plus 2 into atomic mass of chlorine put the value we will get this 111 u mole concept i think about this mole concept you have studied in class 9th the mole m o l e and if in the symbolic form this is written as m o l is the si unit of amount of substance clear one mole contains exactly 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 elementary entities that is an elementary entity may be an atom a molecule an ion an electron any other particle or specified group of particles this number is the fixed numerical value of avogadro constant which is represented as na when expressed in the unit per mole and is called the avogadro number clear yeah? the avogadro constant 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 is defined as the number of atoms in exactly 12 gram of carbon 12 then what is mole this is the definition of mole the mole is the amount of substance of a system that contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 specified elementary entities one mole of anything will be always equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 in number as one dozen is equal to always 12 one dozen it may be banana one dozen it may be apple it is always 12 in the same way when we say one mole it is always equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 in the same way one gross is equal to 144 in numbers okay molar mass mass of one mole of a substance in gram is called its molar mass 
द मोलर मास इन ग्राम्स इज न्यूमेरिकली इक्वल टू एटोमिक और मोलिकुलर और फॉर्मूला मास इन यू सिंपल वे वी कैन सी इफ एटोमिक मास और मोलिकुलर मास और फॉर्मूला मास इज एक्सप्रेस इन ग्राम देन देट इज कॉल मोलर मास ऑफ एटम मोलर मास ऑफ मोलिक्यूल और मोलर मास ऑफ फॉर्मूला यूनिट मोलर मास ऑफ एटम्स इज आल्सो नोन एज ग्राम एटॉमिक मास इन द सेम वे मोलर मास ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स इज आल्सो नोन एज ग्राम मॉलिक्यूलर मास द मास ऑफ वन मोल ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस इज इक्वल टू इट्स रिलेटिव एटॉमिक और मॉलिक्यूलर मास इन ग्राम्स फॉर एग्जांपल एटॉमिक मास ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज 1 यू ओके so gram atomic mass of hydrogen which is also known as the molar mass of hydrogen that is equal to 1 gram simply we replace u by g then we will get the molar mass one u hydrogen has only one atom of hydrogen okay but if we say one gram hydrogen it means one gram hydrogen has one mole atoms and one mole means 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of hydrogen. In the same way, if we say 16 u oxygen, it means it represent only one atom of oxygen. But if we say 16 gram oxygen, 16 gram oxygen means one mole atoms of oxygen, and one mole means 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of oxygen. take one more example molecular mass of water h2o is 18 u and molar mass of water is 18 g okay 18 u water has only one molecule of water and 18 g water has one mole molecules of water that is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of water i think this is clear to you a mole is the chemist counting unit okay and mole relates the mass in grams to the number we can find out if we know the mass in gram we can find out the number of moles and if we know the number of moles we can find out the number of entities the word mole was introduced around 1896 by wilhelm ostwald who derived the term from the latin word moles meaning a heap or pile a substance may be considered as a heap of atoms or molecules the unit mole was accepted in 1967 to provide a simple way of reporting a large number the massive heap of atoms and molecules in a sample okay and now we can find out the relationship between number of moles molar mass and avogadro constant or avogadro number if we represent number of moles by small n and mass in gram by small m molar mass in gram per mole is represented by capital m and number of particles represented by capital n and avogadro constant this is n a if mass in gram is given to us and if this is a divide by molar mass then we will get the number of moles and in the formula we can write like this that is number of moles is equal to mass in gram divided by molar mass okay and if number of moles we know and if this is multiplied by avogadro constant then we can find out the number of particles again these three can be correlated by this that is if we know the number of particles and if it is divided by avogadro constant we will get the number of moles or if this number of mole is multiplied by this then we can get the number of particles and both the formula this also n this also n that's why this small m divided by capital m is equal to capital n divided by n a okay four quantities are given and generally its value we know that is then 1 2 and 3 if 2 we know third we can calculate is it clear students please subscribe my channel to get the new video thank you